All right, Iowans who use Apple devices can now add their driver's license and state ID to their Apple wallet. The State Department of Transportation says Iowans can use this to show proof of identity or age in person and in some apps. But how do you download your license to your Apple product, and what does this mean for the security of your personal information? Haley Bickelhoft is here to help us answer those questions. All right, Haley, let's start with that first question. How do you actually download your license onto your phone? Yeah, so that's a great question. And really yesterday was the announcement of the Apple Wallet section of this. But before this, Iowa had their Iowa mobile ID app, which you can still download today from any app store. You can also get this on Samsung um, phones as well. And so when you go into the Apple ID, if you're going to focus on that, you click on the Wallet app. Hit that plus sign in the top right corner and then go ahead, take the pictures. It prompts you what state you're in. Take the pictures of your license and then there's a short identification portion where you send in selfies of yourself and the state then proves that it's you. Okay, so you also found out that Iowa is not the first state to have something like this, right? Yes, so the Apple website says that it's the sixth state now with states like Maryland, Arizona, Georgia, just to name a few that have already done this. And what did you find out about some of the cybersecurity concerns? Are there, do people need to be worried about that? And I think that's one of the ultimate questions mm -hmm. here, but the experts I spoke with today said that this could actually be more secure than carrying around your plastic ID. They said because of the authentication measures with your face and your touch ID, as well as the way this is stored in the cloud, uh, that they think that this could be a better, safer way to go about things. That's super interesting. I know that's a question a lot of people will be wondering about. Uh, last thing, do we know what places will accept this kind of ID? Can this replace you having to actually carry that physical ID? No, keep your physical ID yeah. on you for sure. State police say if you get pulled over, you need your physical ID. And also airports, there's two airports, um, Des Moines Airport and Cedar Rapids that will take this form of ID, but lots of other airports across the country that won't and you don't wanna get stranded. It's also gonna be a slow transition to see who takes up this and who doesn't. So stay tuned. Try out the technology, but stick with that plastic. Yeah, you definitely don't want to be traveling back to Iowa at a different airport and not have that exactly. physical ID with you. <laughs> Might get stranded. Yeah, all right. Thanks, Haley.